four combos, extra bacon on the side, two <laughs> chili on the side. Basket of liver and onion rings, a catch of the day. She reminds me of the lady at the checkout at Fun World in Bay Bay's Kids. That's what it is. No cutting in line, no grumbling, no stealing. That means you. Uh, okay. Oof, oof, oof. What happened? Oh, you okay? I'm okay. I just heard something from your side that was Oh, loud. yeah, no. I put it on the floor. And we're leaving it on the floor. Yes, it's on the floor. And it's not going to be picked up during the duration of this film. Not consistently, no. Good morning. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by TurboTax. Have you filed your taxes yet? Because there's still time. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Brooke hasn't either. <laughs> what? I'm a serial extension filer. Springtime. I want to go frolic outside. Crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. If you love to file tax extensions, also known as a 1040X, as much as Brooke does, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week is geared up to be a fun one. I'm sure Brooke is as excited as the H&R Block Rep who won't stop leaving her voicemails. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone what we're watching this week? I am so so excited for this movie. Shout out to the kids from Cincinnati School of Creative and Performing Arts. Y'all remember Miss Schoolsby. Today we are watching 2000 Disney's Emperor New Groove. Such an underrated gem. The comedy. It's a lot of excitement on your end. I had to <coughs> stay still and process for a moment. It because was very it's such intense. an underrated movie. People slip on this one. When this movie came out, I was already on the Disney Channel train because where I come from, it's cornbread and chicken. Also where I come from, you had to pay for Disney Channel, it was premium. So by this time, it became a part of the extended cable package and I had moved away from 2D Disney animation. I was in my Disney Channel original movie era. <laughs> However, I did run into Emperor's New Groove when I was an adult during the era where Netflix was the primary dominant streaming platform where you could find a variety of content. So it's been a while since I've watched it. People either really love it, really hate it. Who really hates it? If you're new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch The Emperor's New Groove. We will both give our individual thoughts. And from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official official freckle score. So without further ado, the Disney animated 2000 era, very nicely cast, The Emperor's New Groove. Let's roll it! I can't see anybody strongly disliking this movie. This is David Spade at his utmost annoying level used artistically wonderful. You're just not Kappa material. Yes, it's highlighted. It's highlighted play. It's in white. whoopie dee doppie dee dop Now remember we're doing three, two, one play. You know, it's a school night for Harlem internet. So you're considering Spectrum internet? Three, two, one, play. One moment. Okay, there we go. Did you replace the batteries? Actually, I think it's because I have stuff on the TV credenza that's slightly blocking it. Maybe my PlayStation or something. Tell me when it says Walt Disney Pictures. Walt Disney Pictures. Will you take a look at that? That llama you're looking at was once a human being. That guy was an emperor. A rich, powerful ball of charisma. <laughs> well, I'm that llama. Name is Cusco. Emperor Cusco. Oh, look at me. All right, let's move ahead.
Oh yeah. There are despots and dictators. Was this Tom Jones? <laughs> it sounds like it. He was born and raised to rule in a thousand. Wow. This is the real me, not this. This winner, loser. Oh yeah! That is definitely Tom Jones. He's the hippest cat in creation. <laughs> Alpha the Omega A to Z. What's his name? He better rock out. Yeah. You threw off my groove. Sorry. Oh no. You were saying? What's his name? <laughs> wow. Not River Dance. You better River Dance. <laughs> Your Highness, it is time for you to choose your bride. Hate your hair. Not likely. Yikes, yikes. You have a great personality. The best you could do. Girl, I want to listen to I beat his her. ass too. Think about it. Still wondering about the llama in the opening? This is giving real skinny dick energy. You're a loser. A loser with a skinny wiener. First, there's Pacha. I'm here to see Emperor Kuzco. I got the summon. Up the stairs and to the left. Don't be fooled by the folksy peasant look. Oh. Pardon me, that's mine. He's yeah. still hanging up there, damn. Oh, hey, are you all right? What happened? I threw off the Emperor's groove, the rhythm in which he lives his life, his pattern of behavior, and the Emperor had me thrown out the window. Beware the groove. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> so a queen. Such a queen. To work with a great voice like Eartha Kitt's voice is also fantastic. This act of highest treason has but one punishment. Death. God! <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> okay, gang, check out this piece of work. This is Yzma, the Emperor's advisor. And let's not forget Yzma's right-hand man. This year's model is called Konk. Yeah, I got that there, Yzma. Yzma's trying to run the country behind my back. It is no concern of mine whether your family has food. You really should have thought of that before you became peasants. Take him away. But I... Ah! Hi there. Oh, your highness. You were doing it again. I'm the emperor. I was only dealing with meaningless peasant matters. Look at these wrinkles. What is holding this woman together? The... How long has that been there? Do I have something in my teeth? Oh, and by the way, you're fired. You're being let go. Your department's being downsized. We're going in a different direction. We're not picking up your option. But I... You... Pink slip. Ugh. So... Who's in my chair? Oh, he's missing your chair, right? Very... Good, Kronk. Get the snack. Got it. Oh, <laughs> uh, afternoon, Your Highness. Hey, there he is. My main village man. I got the summons. Gotcha. <laughs> Word on the street is you can fix my problem. My village? You got a pretty sweet little setup there on top of that hill. My family has lived on that hilltop for the last six generations. Where do you find you get the most sun? Just on the other side. When the sun hits that ridge just right, these hills sing. Problem solved. Thanks for coming. I okay, this spot for my pool. Booyah! Welcome to Cusco Topia, complete with water slide. What? Okay, wow. <laughs> it's huge! The pool's like 110 feet long, 100,000 gallons. It's my birthday gift to me. I'm so happy. I don't understand how this could happen. I give the word, and your town will be destroyed to make way for this. If I were you, I'd pick up some change of address forms on the way home. Uh, oh, but wait, you can't. Bye bye. Oh, uh, wait. Boo hoo. He can't get rid of me that easily, does he? A little to the left. <laughs> Why, I practically raised him. Well, it's better you're taking that ranker and these things. I'll get rid of Cusco. With him out of the way and no heir to the throne, I'll rule the empire. How does that work with you being fired and all? Only ones who know about that are the three of us. To the secret lab. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever! <laughs> I am. Why do we even have that lever? To remain seated, you keep your arms and legs at all times. <laughs> How shall I do it? I'll turn him into a flea. Put that flea in a box, and then I'll put that box inside of another box. Nail that box to myself. To mess it with a hammer. Brilliant, I tell you. To save on postage, I'll just poison him with this. Feel the power. I can feel it. It's dinner time. 
Is everything ready for tonight? Thought we'd start off with soup and a light salad. Not the dinner. Do you know? Oh, right. The poison. The poison chosen to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. poison? Yes, that poison. <laughs> you got you covered. A few drops in his drink, he will be dead before dessert. Boom, bam, baby. I am one hungry king of the world. Mm. So... Feet on my table. No hard feelings about being let go. Well, feet bend neither. Exactly. You nasty. Get the emperor a drink. She got on her Sunday best. Your highness. <laughs> Is something burning? My spinach pus. He's what, in his late 20s? <laughs> you know, darling, to each his own. Do you know what I mean? I'm very happy. I'm not sure. Saved them. They're still hot. Crunk. The emperor needs his drink. Right. Dumbass. Oh, no. The drinks were a bit on the warm side. A toast to the Emperor. Long live Cusco! Don't drink the water. Tasty. Good work, Crunk. Okay, what were we saying? We're just making a toast to your healthy rule. I mean, you've been around here a long time, and someone of your age, adjusting to life in the private sector. <laughs> 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 The best possible way. A llama? He's supposed to be dead! Let me see that vial. This is extract of llama! Take him out of town and finish the job! What about dinner? How about dessert? I suppose there's time for dessert. Then take him out of town and finish the job! This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. <laughs> 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 Big, dumb, and tone deaf. <laughs> Mission accomplished. My shoulder angel. I'm gonna lead you down the path that rocks. You got three good reasons why you should just walk away. It's got that sissy stringy music thing. <laughs> that's a harp, and that's a dress. Rome. That definitely wouldn't pass today. Wouldn't fly today. No. Nope. Listen, you guys, you're sort of confusing me, so, uh, you got it. Aw, Kronk has a conscience. I haven't had this much excitement in 200 years. What to do? What do we do with the body? <sighs> what am I gonna tell the village? Why do I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Poor kitty. Hey, you! Hey, get, get, stop! Uh-oh. -uh. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. Guess what, fellow Freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. <laughs> Look at the colors. Look at the purple. Mom, you and I both know that it's I love impossible. that she was pregnant too. Dad's home. <laughs> she better wear that pregnancy well. well. Nova side, lady with a baby coming through. They just pushing them out in age difference. I wonder if she was the first pregnant Disney character. No, you two can stay up. We're just gonna be sitting here telling each other how much we love each other. <laughs> Good night. What did the emperor want? He couldn't see me. Couldn't see you? Why not? She sounds like a black woman. She operates like a black woman. If that were me, I'd march right back there and demand to see him. That kind of behavior just, just, uh. Pacha, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just a little tired from the trip. This story's about me, not him. Oh my gosh, this skinny wiener energy. <laughs> oh, this is kind of triggering. <laughs> Why is it triggering? <laughs>
You know, just a single life present day. No touchy. Uh, demon llama. Where? Uh, said demon llama. Uh, 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 uh. Head. I mean you no uh, harm. I know you. You're that whiny peasant. Emperor Cusco? Who do you think you were talking to? You don't look like the emperor. Do this. Game you country folk like this. Yeah! Ah, ah, my beautiful, beautiful face. Llama face. I can't remember. I can't remember anything. I remember telling you I was building my pool where your house was. You turned me into a llama. So then you kidnapped me. What? All these underbites. Yeah, there's a bunch. Okay. I have to get back to the palace. Yzma's got that secret lab. I'll just snap my fingers and order her to change me back. I want to get out of this body, wouldn't you? Now let's go. Put your foot down. Build your summer house. Somewhere else. You want to run that by me again? Mm -hmm. I can't let you go back unless you change your mind. Build your summer home somewhere else. Come here. No, closer. I don't make deals with peasants. And I, oh. I can find my own way back. It's a little dangerous if you don't know the way. There are jaguars and snakes. I'm not kidding. Listen, you cannot go in there. Just like a hard-headed man. There's no Cusco. There's no Cusco-topia. You got two or one on the way. You doing all right. Oh, a leaf. Oh, it might attack me. <laughs> Would it be wrong? if someone just gobbled him up for dinner? Where am I? <laughs> oh no, ma'am. Hey, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Hit the road, Bucky. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> But how is he supposed to save him? Wouldn't the Jaguars attack him too? Don't worry, your highness, I gotcha. Maybe I'm just new to this whole rescuing thing. Why are you gonna be a smart ass after he did that? Figure this out. Yeah, at least you're not dead. <laughs> Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on, breathe! CPR. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 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 it was not a kiss. But oh. why? I think we got off on the wrong foot here. Build your home on a different hilltop. Why would I do that? Oh, my Aww. goodness. Fire! Maybe llama tastes like chicken. Let's find out. How can you be this way? All you care about is building your summer home and filling it with stuff. Summer home when they live in Peru. It's summer year round. Someday you're going to wind up all alone. You'll have no one to blame but He's yourself. He's alone now. Unless you change your mind, I'm not taking you back. Where are his parents? How was he raised? Exactly. Gonna get pneumonia. Just like a man. Just like a man! It is with great sadness that we mourn the sudden departure of our beloved prince. We ain't getting any deader. Back to work. That was quick. We're remodeling already? Now that Cusco is dead, all is forgiven. Why would you leave it up to him, though? Yes, right now. Unless, of course, we killed him again. The royal dresser's here. Uh, Cusco is dead, right? I need to hear these words. Not as dead as we would have hoped. Kronk, you and I are going out to find him. Now let's move! Dad, look out! I had a dream that Dad was tied to a lock down a raging river of death. It's okay, it's okay, Tipo. Tebo. He's already having visions? <laughs> he just went back to see the Emperor. Like you told him to, because you're always right. <laughs> well, in my dream, Dad had to kiss a llama. Night, Mom! Thanks. No problem. Feels like wool. Alpaca? Oh, yeah, it is. My wife made it. <laughs> When I got back to the city, I mean, there's lots of hilltops, and I, I, I might. Don't buy it. That means you're doing something nice for someone else. I need a contract. I need a blood signature. What? I need a sacrifice. 
Don't shake unless you mean it. Let's get you back to the palace. By the way, thanks. No, thank you. Once we cross this bridge, it's only an hour to the palace. Go! Cusco! Yeah. Quick, help me up. No, I don't think I will. I was going to have you in prison for life, but I kind of like this better. I thought you were a changed man. And I had to say something to get you to take me back to the city. All of it was a lie? You can't get back to the city without him. Yeah, it all was a lie. Toodles. We shook hands on it! The funny thing about shaking hands is, you need hands. Bye-bye. You're going back on your promise. I could have let you die up there in that jungle. Let's end this. Ladies first. Yeah, come on. I have an idea. Give me your arm. Push against my back. We'll walk up the hill. Go. Ow! Right, left, right, left, right. Stretch out your neck. I'll grab the rope. God, it's stuck. Oh, no. Stop it! Stop! Uh-uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all going through it. Look at me and my bad self. Snatched you right out of the air. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You uh -huh. just uh -huh. saved my life. There is some good in you after all. I know. Admit it. What's the big deal? Nobody's that heartless. <gasps> With that bridge out, it's a four-day walk to the palace. Womp, womp, womp. You mean you're still taking me back? Maybe you'll change your mind. Come, I'm getting tired. Pull over. <laughs> oh, look. A golden throated small wing warbler. <laughs> She's not the easiest person to get close to. Are you talking to that squirrel? I was a junior chipmunk. Her back, her spine. The little guys had it rough. Talking llama gave him a hard time the other day. Do tell. <laughs> he doesn't really want to talk to you. He'd been in the middle. Squeaking. Low blood sugar, huh? Yeah, it's a curse. Hmm. Welcome to Mudka's Meat Hut. <laughs> We'll have two specials. Oh, whatever you say, Pumpkin, you know what I like. Bless you for coming out in public. I'm trying to think who she reminds me of. Nine, eight. Nine, nine. When will you learn that all my ideas are good ones? Where'd he get makeup, though? For the happy couple. Mazel tov. I should have done away with Cusco myself. <laughs> Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so. I gotta go. Or is there not anything edible on this menu? What's your policy on making special orders? You want a special order? Then you make it. I quit. Four combos, extra bacon on the side, two no, chili. On the side. Basket of liver and onion rings, a catch of the day. She reminds me of the lady at the checkout at Fun World in Bay Bay's Kids. That's what it is. No cutting in line, no grumbling, no stealing. That means you. Got it. I'll have a spinach omelet with wheat toast. Can do. Make me the special. Hold the gravy. Make my omelet a meat pie. Meat pie. Can I order the potatoes as a side dish? Charge a full price. Whoa. Cheddar will be fine. Cheddar spuds coming up. Spuds, yes. Cheese, no. Hold the cheese. I want the cheese. Cheese me no likey. Cheese in. On second thought, make, make my, my potatoes, potatoes a salad. Excuse me. You see anyone here that's a moment? No problem, hun. We do that all the time. There's two people in there looking for you. A big guy and a skinny old woman. They're not here to save you. Trying to kill you. You want to keep me stranded out here forever. All you care about is your stupid hilltop. You don't care about me. Now just get out of here. Fine. You hadn't mixed up those poisons. Cusco would be dead now. Track that llama down and kill him. Cusco must be eliminated. Pacha. Pacha. Don't throw away the wool. That's good alpaca. <laughs> know how I am with the animals. <gasps> the peasant at the diner. He didn't pay his check. <gasps> it's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco in the back of his car. If we find the village, we find him. And if we find him, we find Cusco. Yeah, go hang out with your homies. No new kid in town.
I couldn't just leave him out here all alone. He's a lousy llama. We're just gonna stop at the house and get some supplies. Hey there, Pacha. You just missed your relatives. There was this big guy and this older woman. Scary beyond all reason. Remind me again how you're related to Pacha. Third cousin's brother's wife's stepniece's great aunt. She ain't buying it. Uh huh. 99 monkeys jumping on the bed. Then bumped his head. Pacha is not here. Wait. Oops. Allow me. While we're waiting for Paca, Pacha. Mm. Well, excuse me, won't you? Punk, it's time. Oh. I don't believe you're really my great aunt. More like my great, great, great. <laughs> well, I'll stall them long enough for you two to get a head start. Was it a good idea to leave your family with those two? They can handle themselves. What do you mean the door is stuck? Tell us where the talking llama is, or oh, we'll burn your house to the ground. Break the door down. Kidding me? This is Ann Carb Mahogany. <laughs> Let's not wait until the next family reunion to get together. I gotta run. Okay, why does she even have that lever? <laughs> hmm? What does it look like? I don't know, just keep looking. Looking for this? No, it can't be. Maybe I wasn't as nice as I should have been. Do you really want to kill me? Think of it as you're being let go. That your body's part of a permanent outplacement. The cruel irony, like my dependence on you. Finish them off. Uh, where's the other guy? Oh, sorry, I'm late. Oh, that would definitely not fly. Which part? Him being in the salon chair with hot rolls. I'm talking to a monkey. Big, stupid monkey named Crap. I've never liked your spinach puffs. <gasps> Ooh. Never! That usually works. Should have seen that coming. Whoa! Give me that fire! Which one, which one? Kill them! They murdered the Emperor! Just take them all! Hey, I've been turned into a cow. Can I go home? You're excused. Get them! Gotta change you back. Try this one. Little help? Sword in the stone, no. Oh, Don't you say a word. Drain the canal! <laughs> Only two left. It's gotta be one of these. How'd they not break? <laughs> I'll take that. Ow! <laughs> break the potion! Looking for this. Right there, give me a minute. Ah! Vile. We did not order a giant trampoline. I win. Whoa. What are the odds that trapdoor led me out here? Well, see ya on the other side. All is forgiven. It's not the first time I was tossed out a window. Won't be the last. <laughs> <laughs> so, you lied to me. I was dragged all over those hills and I did not hear any singing. I'll be building my summer home on a more magical hill. Your family are stuck on the tuneless hilltop forever, pal. I'm pretty sure I heard some singing on the hill next to us. In case you're interested. Oh, the headless captain creation. A big body he can see that a pivot world and it will be kids and it's with us. My acorn is missing. Did you eat the acorn? Squeak, 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 squeakers. Squeaking. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's give it a freckle score. Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the Emperor's new groove its official freckle 
score. The Emperor's New Groove is such a good time. I love the comedy. This must have been a trend at that time of the type of humor. The jokes, the very sketch comedy. Kronk is the movie. Like he he does everything. Pacha's wife. There's so much of a black woman within her. There are some moments where not necessarily dead space but the energy is lower for me than what it used to be when I used to watch it. I still really enjoyed the movie. Not quite as exciting as it once was when I watched it when I was 12 or 13, but still really good. I give it 4.25 freckles. You and these quarter freckles. I, I take it back. I did laugh a lot. I give it a 4.5, 4.5 freckles. So anytime I'm not fully, fully, fully familiar with the film, I wanna take it in and process it. And I want my laughs to be spontaneous laughs. That's when the comedy gets me most. The animation quality is much better, but this was also during an era where Disney was transitioning into a new phase. Pixar had did Toy Story and completely changed the way they did animation. And I'm fairly certain Disney had a handful of projects already in the works where they were in too deep to where they wouldn't pull the plug. Like the Herculeses, the Tarzans, the Home on the Range, and the Emperor's New Groove definitely falls into that. It's very hard for me to tolerate David Spade. I am not the biggest David Spade fan, and I was trying my hardest to just put that to the side, which took away from Eartha Kitt's small little detail moments where I know the laugh was there. But like Brooke said, there were a lot of places where it was dead space, places where it was falling flat and it shouldn't have. Nothing really hit my spirit. I was waiting for the laugh out loud moment, and I was disappointed it never came. It's gonna be very hard to pull me in when we're dealing with a chauvinistic, egotistical, maniacal, selfish trollop of an emperor in Cusco. Croc has the good one-liners, the good bit parts, but Pacha is a real one. Let me find a Pacha, please. My freckle score, a little bit more realistic for the way I interpreted Emperor's New Groove. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five freckles. I really wanted to give it a four, but my conscience, is just not allowing me to do it. 3.5 out of five freckles. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on Emperor's New Groove. And we appreciate you tuning into this latest episode of Two Freckled Friends. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon for updates on the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes. And feel free to check out the links in the descriptions below from episodes from this season, as well as past seasons of Two Freckled Friends. It only had one one song. That's oh. something else that bothered me. It only had one song and then you put You're that right. song and then you want to do somewhat of a reprise remix at the very at end. The end. And it's still That's not fair. enough meat on the bone. It's just like, uh... You know what, actually, we're gonna go back to my 4.25. 4.25 freckles. No more David Spade. I can get down with that. No, no, Spade, you're a total catch. A lot of my hot chick friends think so too, you're a babe. <laughs> Tom Arnold is right. Maybe talking isn't my best thing. <laughs> he's a talented guy, he's got some good theory.